Hi, I'm Tara Wiley. I'm the Groups Director here at The Pursuit. I am so excited that you are joining us and creating online community during this unprecedented season in our lives. I hope that it becomes a place of encouragement and just great connection for you, no matter what the amount of social distancing might be. So I'm going to talk you through how to set up a Google Hangouts. That's going to be your perfect place to connect via text and to be able to create an online virtual group in a video conference type setup. The first thing you're going to need is that you as the host will need a Gmail account. So I'm going to talk you through that on my computer right now. If you don't have a Gmail account, just go to gmail.com. It's a free account, very simple to set up. You would click on create account. I already have one, so I'm going to click next. I'm going to sign into my Gmail account. If you have a Gmail account, what you're going to discover, you may not have used this before, but there's Google Hangouts is integrated into your Gmail account over here on the left side of your screen. So over here, there's actually a little tiny icon at the bottom. That's your Hangouts conversation. And underneath here is where when you create your Google Accounts group, your Hangouts group, it will be listed under that place. But here's the steps to create a new group. You'll see where your name is illuminated. You're going to press the plus sign. You're going to create a new group. You'll say whatever you want to call it. For now, I'll just go sample here. And then you're going to add what your first member to the group. And hit the check mark. At this point, you now have a Google Hangouts started. Now, when you are inviting your people to join your group, the best thing to do is to ask them to download the Hangouts app on their phone. They can use that no matter what kind of Gmail account they use, and that's going to be the easiest way for you guys to stay connected. So on your phone, you're going to go to your app store, whether you're Android or Google Play or your app store, and you're going to type in Hangouts. Be sure you don't pick any of these other random Google Hangouts Meet, Hangouts Chat. It's just Hangouts, and it has the, the simple quotation mark symbol. Once you get there, you're going to have several icons across the bottom, and you're going to want to pick the conversation text messaging looking icon. The group that you've created will be there. And if you're, so you right now, you only have your name in there. You're going to add and invite all the people that are going to be in your group into that group. So here's the simple way to do it on your phone. You click on the group that you created. Up at the top right, there's the three dots. You click on the three dots. You click on people. And then there's joining by link. Or now, when you first start, that will not be illuminated. You're going to have to turn it on by clicking on that little slide bar. And it'll automatically give you the chance to share the link via text. Join the conversation on Hangouts. So you're going to take that. You're going to add the people that you want onto your group. And everyone will be there. You can give them a nice welcome message by clicking back into the conversation, saying hello, and inviting everyone to continue to talk in that place. And you'll be set, ready to give them great content, ready to have great conversation, and ready to have that online meetup that you're going to give them a time and date for, and you can have a video phone call just like this one. So going all the way back to the beginning, click on my sample group. Up at the top, I'm going to click on that little video icon, and that's going to start my phone call. Hello. Hold on, let me. Hey, Brianna. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Good. How are you? It's awesome. So even as we're talking, that phone call is still going out to the other people that are in our group. So when they're ready to join us, they can. So it'll be really fun and we can have a whole lineup of people. We can do it here on the phone or we can do it on our computer so we can see everybody's faces a little better. There'll be those little icons down at the bottom. So you'll be able to see yeah. if there's the little speaker button. Do you see that, Brianna, on yours and the little... So down at the bottom, there's a little speaker icon and there's a little movie icon. And if they're clear, then you're good to go. If they're white, then you're muted or you've lost your video connection. Up at the top is a little speaker icon. And that's where if you're having a hard time hearing, you might want to click on that and make sure that it's on speaker and not iPhone. And that'll give you the best yeah. view of that. Yeah. And you're all ready to go. Okay. Can't wait to have group with you. <laughs> Yes, me either. Thanks, Tara. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.
and that's literally all there is to it. You've set up a group context for you to be able to text one another and be able to see each other face to face. We at The Pursuit think that connection is critical. We know that connection is critical. It's something that God has called us to do, to love Him and to love one another. This is a practical way for us to do that in this season and even beyond. And so I hope that you find this to be a really useful, simple tool. We are here to help you. If you have any questions whatsoever as you're going through the setup process, feel free to, to email me at tara.wiley at thepursuit.church. I'm going to be sending you all sorts of great information and tools on how to navigate co creating community on a digital platform, giving you great questions and resources so that you can stay connected with each other, with what The Pursuit has going on, and most importantly, with the Lord. Thanks so much. We'll be in touch soon.